This is Nick with Build Brothers Roofing. Started my digital inspection at 10167 Bluestone Court out here in Spring Valley. Whenever we start our inspections, we like to start underneath the eave of the house. So the eave of the home is going to consist of your fascia board, you have your rafter tails, and then you have your starter board. And the reason why we like to start underneath the eave is that it gives us a good, good idea about what kind of wood damage we can expect. So we can see all the rotten wood over here. We can see the, uh, the damaged wood from the termites over here as well. We can see the damaged rafter tail as well. So, you know, on this project, there will be a good amount of wood repair. So it's something that the homeowner doesn't need to be aware of because it is always an unknown variable for us. So working my way up to the top of the roof here, we have a concrete S-tile roof material uh, on the property at the moment. You have this shadow board. And I'm not sure if my camera's gonna be able to pick it up, but you can see that it, it has a little uh, uh, overhang to it. So as the water runs underneath these, these tiles, it ends up getting stuck behind this shadow board and that water ends up just sitting there. So I find that on a lot of roofs like this, um, the wood repair can, you know, it can get up there because of the fact that that water really isn't going anywhere and there's gonna be a lot of shiplap that needs to be replaced. So we're gonna end up just removing all this shadow over. You can see how it's literally just coming apart. Um, pulled a couple tiles on this roof just to show the homeowner what the condition of the underlayment is, what the condition of the underlayment is in. Um, now, the underlayment is the most important part of the roof. The concrete tile is protecting the underlayment. The underlayment is protecting the house. You can see that there is um, a couple areas where water has been penetrating the property. Uh, you can see the flashing around this penetration is completely worn through. So this is some old school mortar flashing. Um, all that mortar is completely done at this point. There's a big hole right here, which is allowing water to come through. And as it's been doing that, you can see all the water marks on the underlayment. You can see all the water that's been rushing, and then you can see how damaged the underlayment is itself. So this stuff is literally crumbling. You can see down to the wood decking, so water's getting underneath the underlayment itself. And then this is the rest of the underlayment. This stuff is literally just crumbling uh, in my fingertips. So, you know, this kind of stuff has shown me that this product has gone past its life expectancy. You can see all the flashings around the penetrations. There have been a bunch of repairs on this roof. Again, all old school mortar flashings. Um, the mortar is completely crumbling at this point. And at this point, it really isn't doing anything as far as waterproofing goes. So we'll go ahead and reflash all these um, all these penetrations when we're on this roof. But again, I wanted to pull a tile over on this section of the roof um, just to show what the you know the rest of the condition is. So we can see again more water marks that have been streaking down uh, this property. You can see how rusted out that nail is, telling us that water's been going over it for quite some time. And then again, this underlayment, just like the other stuff, is just crumbling in my fingertips. Um, this stuff is super thin, it's very smooth. Uh, fresh underlayment, new underlayment is gonna be very thick, it's gonna be very granular, it's gonna be very gritty to the touch, and this underlayment isn't any of that. Um, so in my professional opinion, yes, this roof does need to be replaced. Um, the tile on this roof is still in good shape. So concrete tile does get stronger as it ages. And uh, a lot of the homes in this area are probably gonna be doing lift and resets really soon. You can see that this is a brand new roof. Um, they went and did a lift and reset. They reused the existing tiles on that roof as well. Um, and then you're gonna notice a lot of other roofs doing the same thing. Um, just because they're all, the, uh, they're all the same age, new roof over there also. So we lift these tiles up for a lift and reset. We then replace the underlayment that's underneath this with two layers of UDL 40 underlayment. Right now we have one layer of probably UDL UDL 30. Um, so we're going to double up the underlayment with a thicker, stronger uh, underlayment just to increase the waterproofing. We'll then go ahead and reflash all the penetrations on this roof to make sure that they're properly waterproofed. We'll add a brand new drip edge. Drip edge is the metal flashing just like your neighbor has next door. That metal flashing is the drip edge. We're going to add brand new drip edge to this property as well. Uh, and then once that is complete, sorry, my camera's going a little crazy right now. Once that is complete, uh, you'll have that brand new roof. Uh, the warranty on the underlayment will be a 20 year warranty that comes directly from the manufacturer. There we go. It comes directly from the manufacturer and we'll go ahead and provide a 10 year workmanship warranty on top of that. The homeowner also has the opportunity to go with a brand new tile roof if they'd like, but again, it is not 100% necessary, um, but I will give that option just as well. All new more cappings on this roof as well. That's it for my inspection.